Today we're gonna to answer an interesting question that a lot of people wonder. Does the saddle height on your guitar affect the tone of your guitar? We're gonna let you decide that. So I have not done a review video on my McPherson Sable acoustic guitar um, because I've been playing it a lot and because we've been making other videos and I just haven't gotten to it yet, we will get to it. Uh, spoiler alert, it's amazing. Okay, so um, a couple things about today's video. One is we're on a shotgun mic today because we're going to just shotgun mic acoustic uh, no fancy stuff, we're just gonna play the guitar, okay? So no lavalier mic, shotgun mic. I'm gonna keep the distance between the camera and the guitar the same. We're gonna be as scientific, sort of, as we can about that. Considering we're shooting in Jurassic Park and there's dinosaur noises and bird noises and all kinds of stuff and it's windy. So we're gonna shoot between wind gusts and we're gonna do the best we can. Now, that being said, uh, let's discuss this whole saddle height thing. First of all, we need to understand saddle height versus neck relief, okay? So on a guitar, there's a couple of interesting forces that happen. One, the strings are pulling this way to wants to like bend the guitar in half, right? The tension of the strings. Sometimes it can be like 130 pounds of tension, okay? So it's wanting to bend the guitar this way. Now the truss rod is in here and it bends the other way basically to counteract the tension of the strings. A lot of people think that you adjust your string height, your action, how high your strings are with your truss rod, but that is incorrect. All that is for is to counteract the tension of the strings that you use on the guitars, 10s, 11s, 12s, 13s, whatever. These are 13s on this guitar. In most guitars. McPherson's a little bit different because this has got a carbon fiber reinforced, well the whole guitar is carbon fiber, but this, has a carbon fiber reinforcement in the neck and it makes it to where it basically never moves with no weather, anything like that. So in order to do any kind of string height adjustment, which this is the way you should do it anyway, you should set your neck relief for your string tension and leave it alone except for weather changes. And then when you wanna lower the action on your guitar, you take the saddle out and you make it lower. Now this is something I've always wanted to do and I've always kind of um, had my suspicions about. Uh, when I used to play Breedlove, I lowered my saddle and I didn't like the way the guitar sounded. And I thought, is that in my imagination? Because it takes so long to like take it all apart, put it all back together, etc. Well, this guitar actually solves that problem for us. Because this guitar uses uh, the Buzz Feetin system and it doesn't have a truss rod, the McPherson Company provides us with a backup saddle. So for those that are not familiar, this is the saddle on the guitar. Um, that would be the opposite end of the guitar from the nut, which is over here. Now you notice on this particular guitar, see how it's got this little lump in the nut right there? Uh, it's got a couple of them, one right here and one right here. It's because McPherson uses the Buzz Feetin uh, intonation system and so as a result of that and as a result of the fact that they're amazing and do all this setup and it turns out awesome every time um, they set up the guitar custom and because the guitar does not have a truss rod like we mentioned earlier um, and because you shouldn't set your action with the truss rod basically um, you should use your saddle but because everything is all set and the intonation is already predetermined and set up and everything by McPherson, they provide you with another saddle, a second saddle I'll show you. So here is the alternate saddle. Uh, it says alternate saddle. It is serial numbered to this guitar right on the bottom. And you notice it says low. So this is the low action saddle. Which is interesting because the action is not ridiculously high on this guitar. I'm gonna say it's 564 like normal, 
or maybe 664 it's maybe a touch high but it plays so well that i haven't even wanted to swap it out or change it out the only reason i'm really doing it is for the sake of this video because we want to see if the height the string angle because when we put this saddle on the string uh, on the guitar the string angle right here will change just a little bit and we want to know if it's going to change the tone okay so i was able to actually slack the strings and pull the pins without ruining the set of strings now this is going to change a little bit so i don't know tuning wise if it's going to work when you do any kind of modification like this with the same strings sometimes the tuning stability isn't as amazing afterwards because you've bent the string maybe slightly in a different spot so we're just gonna have to see about that but maybe for this test we'll get away with it here is the low saddle i should be able to just pop this out let's look at the high saddle versus the low saddle they're actually not that much different but i bet that's enough difference to make a difference and you notice they're marked on the bottom so that end goes that way pop that in there oh yeah that is significantly lower actually let me go ahead and pop these pins back in here and let's give this thing a play Okay, if that surprised you a little bit, it's because um, by the time I did all the fiddling around, the, the edits would be too far apart. So basically, we talked about the guitar and the construction and how it all works ahead of time and then ran the test back to back. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Um, high saddle versus low saddle or medium saddle versus low saddle in our case. Uh, my initial thoughts. Um, it is different. There is something different. I can't put my finger on it exactly. Um, and it, it does sound different. I don't know which one I like better. Um, but that has a lot more to do with my left hand. So one of the things when you're, when you're being critical of this kind of stuff is how much tone difference are you imagining? There is some. So we're not imagining it. There is some, there's something about it, but what difference is there in the actual sound of the guitar versus how your hand interacts with the guitar? Because it plays completely differently than the guitar I've been playing for the last few months. Um, just that little bit of a change completely changed how I handle the guitar, um, which is going to change how I sound, which is going to change your tone. The number one thing in all tone snobbery is the setup of the guitar. The how you interact with the guitar with your fretting hand, honestly, is going to change more about how you play than any other single change that you could make to the guitar. That being said, when we make a change like this, it completely changes that interaction of that left hand or that fretting hand. And I, so the guitar plays different, therefore it sounds different. Or does it sound different, then it makes you play different. I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle on it. I don't, in fact, I actually don't even know, am I gonna put it back? I'm not sure. Discuss it amongst yourselves. Um, I'm just not sure. So, uh, we know it makes a difference. Is it worth, messing with all of your guitars to get it as low as possible are you going to ruin the tone of your guitar by going too low i don't think so i don't think that is the way that you determine how low your action is on your guitar you do not determine it how well i'm a shredder so i need low action determine that by 
how comfortable you are playing with your fretting hand. That's it. If you're not comfortable, make an adjustment. If you feel like you lose too much tone by going too low, then figure out what that compromise is. But know that the interaction of that hand is more important than anything else because you will sound worse if this hand doesn't work right on the guitar, period. Very interesting, right? So anyway, I just thought this was a fun thing to do. Um, since we could actually direct swap it without messing around and just do it in a few minutes, which normally you can't. You usually have to like sand and do all kinds of crazy stuff. It takes a couple hours. I thought this would be kind of fun to do it with this guitar. And because nothing else changed, I used the same strings. Um, the weather obviously doesn't affect anything. So it was a good guitar to do this with. I thought it was kind of fun. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, make sure you check out our vlog on Friday. Make sure you check out our live videos, live hangouts on Thursdays. And uh, check out Patreon and the little join button because everybody on YouTube has seen this video already for a week. So, or everybody that is a YouTube member and everybody that's a Patreon member has already seen this video. So, um, just, just know that, that you can get early access to that stuff and some other little things I'm working on too. Thanks for hanging out and we will see you next time.